There we go. Perfect. Okay, thanks guys. Yeah, I'm here with Niall Horan, and he's got a new album, The Show. Mm -hmm. There's kind of an expression in North America, I don't know if you're familiar with mm -hmm. this one, but people say like, for in sports, there's a welcome to the show moment. Where right. it's kind of like, it's when you get to the big leagues, basically. Like, well, right, okay. Okay, okay welcome okay. to the show. Okay. Have, did you ever have that with music, where like the first time that you kind of had like, whoa, welcome to the show. This is, I'm in the big time right now. Uh, oh. I, everything happened so quick at the start of my career. Um, so I've definitely had a few moments where I've thought, wow, this is nuts. I remember um, going number one for the first time. That was pretty crazy. Playing Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah. Like, there are like, you know, incremental moments that have happened across the career there where you're like, oh, wow, P playing Roger Center. Yeah. <laughs> um, Shout out. I mean, stuff like that is just, you're just mind blowing. The constant, you're just walking around your whole career just going, what the hell is going on? But yeah, I've definitely had a few moments like that. And then, so yourself, like you're, you're big into sports and mm -hmm. everything. We'll get a little bit more into that. But sports is a pretty competitive thing. Do you mm -hmm. ever feel like that in music? Do you ever feel like you want to go out there and achieve something specific, or is it like, is it kind of just you do it for the love of what you're making? Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm I'm really competitive with myself. I'm not competitive with like everyone else. It's not like I can it's compete. Like, oh. really. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, literally. Um, I'm very like. Want, obviously, when I go to write a song, I'm not trying to write the worst song ever. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to write a good, a good song. I'm trying to write. I'm trying to do the best performance. I'm trying to do, you know, all the bits that I do. I'm trying to do it in the best way. I'm not trying to fail. Yeah. <laughs> so I would say I was competitive. Like, if I write a song and be like, all right, well, I need to try and beat that. You know, that's where I would be competitive. Yeah. Apart from that, you can't really be competitive in music. Unless you start some beef with some singer that <laughs> not thinking of any diss tracks coming yeah. up. <laughs> no, no, no. Start feuds at the Grammys. Yeah. <laughs> so your singles that have come out. So yeah. we've got Heaven and mm -hmm. we've got Meltdown. Mm -hmm. And I feel like those actually translate to sports pretty well in terms of like, is there kind of like either whether it's a sporty moment in football or golf or something that you think of like, oh, that's heaven. I was really rooting for that to happen. Or a meltdown where you're like, oh, that was one of my most devastating fandom moments. Oh, or gosh. even just personal experience, like yeah. where you feel like when you're playing a sport, where you feel like where you're in heaven and when you're playing a sport. Yeah, um, I've been very lucky to have played um, Augusta National on a couple of occasions. Um, I'd say that was heaven. Yeah. And yeah. Every, like every time I set foot in that place, it's just like, I hope that when I die, this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, so I would say that, yeah. And like when you play, when you play a decent round of golf, or you score a goal or something like that, that's heavenly. Yeah. You know, like if you do your best, um, get the best out of yourself. That's when it feels heavenly. Meltdown most weeks on the golf course. <laughs> uh, every second shot. Um, <laughs> I remember um, going back to Augusta. I remember I was on the 18th tee with a 78 in my hand. That's like six over par. I'm thinking, this is brilliant. This is gonna be my best round of golf ever. And then I double bogeyed the last, and I, wow. it actually, even though 80 is not that bad, that, I, I felt like, done. I know, but do you know when you like, you're so close? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, I would call that a meltdown, because I just like, <laughs> it just it felt like the club, I felt like I was carrying a sledgehammer instead of like, swinging a golf club. Probably felt like you were on tour, you know? <laughs> yeah. like, that's the pressure I know. Right, that people are feeling. And there was there. no one there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually gonna run you through a quick thing. Uh, this is actually golf. I'm gonna have you settle some golf debates, if that makes sense. Beautiful. So, first one, it's an easy one. Cart or walk? Oh, depends how hot is the answer. Yeah. If it's too hot or it's too cold. Actually, no, if it's too hot, cart. If it's uh, any other time, I'm good to walk. Yeah. Once I don't have to carry the bag, I don't care. I have it on a trolley or something. So do you prefer walking, basically, then? I would yeah, say. I would say so, yeah, yeah. Music in the golf cart. Oh yeah, all day, yeah. every time. Amazing. Any, anything in particular? Any of your own music or? No, just that's just like classic rock from the seventies. I listen to a lot of. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would listen to a lot of that stuff and just just let it rip. Yeah, I love that. Any? Do you have any particular song that you're like this one on the golf course? Boys of Summer by Don Henley. <laughs> it's always a, a cracker for a sunny day on a golf course. I love Summer that. vibes, yeah. flying around in the cart if you have a cart. A hundred percent. Okay, and then. Uh, Solo or foursome? Oh, I did play around the golf with my own last week and played all right. Uh, four ball always, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just playing with friends and mm -hmm. like it's, yeah. yeah, it's part of it. Uh, glove on while putting or no? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've <laughs> seen a few people doing that recently. Yeah, like, I don't know if it's a social media thing or people like. I don't know. I don't know. People just seen one golfer do it and yeah. just thought, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I see like loads of the Matt Fitzpatrick, the golfer, 
won the US Open, he chipped a couple of times, he chips with his left hand on the bottom and everyone just became <laughs> left, -handed ch left hand down chippers all of a sudden. Yeah. It reminds me of when I was a kid, like Wimbledon, Wimbledon would pass, you know, like the tennis tournament would come through every July and everyone would be out in the street with tennis rackets. <laughs> the minute it's over, never touch a tennis racket ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, Canada's like that for the World Cup. Right? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, like, I'm a big football fan, so yeah. I see you, but like, actually, I guess all three of us are, yeah. but like, uh, but like, it's, it's soccer here and when yeah. the World Cup's here, the, everybody's like, they're, no, they're not even Canadian anymore. They're yeah, really no. for Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Italy Although whatever. Canada were good. Yeah, well, I mean... They, well, they should have done better than they did, is yes. what basically what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Alfonso can't, Davies. Yeah, you can't, can't keep counting on him, though. He's, he, <laughs> he's so good, I though. Know. I feel for him. Got to get some help there. Uh, would you rather have over a four-hour 18 or under? Under. Under? You prefer Quicker fast better, play? Yeah. Jesus Christ, I hate slow play. <laughs> if you want, should we debate this now? Come on, let's talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I hate this. Especially at amateur level. Yeah. Like, unless you're going to hit the best shot you've ever seen, don't take four and a half minutes to hit the ball. <laughs> like, everyone's getting the artichoke, out, throwing the grass in the air. <laughs> you like, this whole thing. Uh, unless you're going to hit Rory McIlroy shots, yeah. you're wasting your time, and you're not going to do it. So just hurry up. Okay, uh, Thank you. Public service announcement. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Go on. So meat missile at the turn, which is... Uh, meat missile at the turn. A hot dog? Yeah. Meat miss, I guess that. Yeah, no. that's that's excellent, actually. Yeah. Right. So at, at the turn, are you are you getting a hot dog? Yeah, yeah for sure, always. Yeah, because we don't do the hot dog thing. We do sausage rolls. You know what sausage rolls are? You know, I like guess. the the pastry wrapped hot sausage roll thing. The only thing I know it from is there's this clip of Gordon Ramsay where a guy yeah. comes in and he's yeah, like yeah. <laughs> he eats the whole thing because he's like I love sausage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, from we do that. So I never get unless I'm in America, I don't get a hot dog. But yeah, always America, so, like North America, sir. So they do sausage rolls at like after nine. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. Like that's our turn thing. But I prefer I prefer a hot dog if I can. Yeah. How far is it, gimme? That. That's fair. Okay. And then so. Yeah, I've noticed in North America they get longer and longer. <laughs> like I I play golf in LA and there's guys getting like four footers. Yeah. I'm like, joke. <laughs> He's 100% missing that. <laughs> yeah. Because he's never yeah. taken one in his life. He's never he taken a four practice. footer in his life. It's yeah. breaking left to right downhill. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, Who knows? Yeah, yeah. None of that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And last one. So I know you're a big Derby County fan. Yeah. And uh, just with like, so Ryan Reynolds is Canadian, and I'm sure, course, I'm yeah. sure you've been following the Rex MFC stuff. Of course, stuff, yeah, it's been brilliant. That. Have you ever considered something like that? Investing in a team and kind of like maybe do a TV series about it or oh something? Oh, God, no. Um, <laughs> that doesn't sound like you would. Brent Reynolds has got a lot more money than me. Uh, let's put it that way. <laughs> Deadpool did a lot better. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I, I much prefer being a fan of the team and being able to go to away games and sit with the crowd and not get abused. Yeah. Away <laughs> uh, games, that's, that's the best one for a fan, yeah, yeah. right? And in England, like, in away travel is a lot better. Um, I've been to, like, ten games this season. I haven't been to one home game. They've all been away. Really good good fun amongst the crowd. The hardcore there. Um, no, so I, w I just... I, no, I prefer to just keep that as the family passion we've always had. I think it's different for Ryan and Rob to come over to, to just, like, it's a they new don't thing. They yeah, yeah, right? And they don't... Well, they do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you they didn't realize how emotionally invested they'd get as much as financially. Um, but yeah, no, I'm delighted for them. I think it's incredible. Like those those towns in England need you know, an influx of money. Yeah. And football is the main way that it gets in there. So I'm delighted for them. It'd be <laughs> happening a lot more now with with that. Oh well, I hope so. Yeah, it's an amazing story. I'm delighted for them. Awesome. Ryan, Ryan's a great guy too. So. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Cheers, it was bud. A pleasure. Thanks very much.